This is something lawmakers here in Oklahoma have prepared for. They passed a so-called trigger law, reverting Oklahoma back to a statute from 1910, essentially wiping any pro-choice law since then off the books. That trigger law, though, has been unenforceable up until today because of Roe v. Wade. News 9's Brittany Tulis continues our team coverage now with more from providers who say despite knowing this could happen, the Supreme Court's decision still equally as devastating. Yeah, Carl, I talked with both regional and national providers echoing the same sentiment. The repealing of the near 50-year decision leaves half of the population without essential reproductive care. And a Kansas election that's soon to come could leave Oklahomans with just one border state to turn to. I am a woman and I am not equal before the law in the way that I was yesterday. Oklahoma joining Missouri, Texas, and 10 other states with trigger laws going into effect with the repealing of Roe v. Wade. 13 more in the process of creating similar legislation, funneling Oklahomans seeking abortions to either Kansas or New Mexico. Despite anticipating this moment, it is hard to express that I don't have an explanation for how you take 49 years of precedent of an established constitutional right and you roll back individual freedoms in the way that the court has done today. Today is the day where I'm no longer able to care for people in the way that my medical training taught me to. Physicians with Trust Women Clinics don't live in Oklahoma, flying in on scheduled days. SB 1555 allows for abortions if it saves the pregnant person's life. But with the procedure now illegal across the state, there's a question of who will step in. There aren't trained practitioners in hospitals. In Oklahoma, there's one OB uh, for every 19,000 women. That number will get worse. You know, doctors will not want to take on the risk. In August, Kansans will vote on a ballot question to keep abortion access protected by the state constitution. It's one of the last neighboring states Oklahomans can turn to, and its services already strained. There are only four places in the state of Kansas where you can get an abortion right now. And both Planned Parenthood and Trust Women are keeping their doors open to provide information and any care that they can. Live at the Capitol, Brittany Tulis, Oklahoma's own News 9. Okay.